Hey everybody, Charlie Weiser from EasyPiano.com and today is lesson number seven or run number seven. So we're actually winding down our series and we only have a few episodes left to go. So anyway, I think you're gonna like what I have for you today. We're gonna to work on the three, six, two, five, one progression and I have a run for you that's going to fit nicely over um, each of these chords. So anyway, uh, I remind you again, the PDF file is available for this with the run in all 12 keys. So on that note, let's go ahead and get started. Day seven. Our run today is going to be based on the three, six, two, five, one chord progression in the key of F. So let me go ahead and play that for you. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, let me go ahead and break that down for you. Uh, one of the things I should mention real quick too, before I break it down, tomorrow, day number eight, is going to be a run. It's gonna use the same notes as this, but I'm gonna show you a way to make it a little bit more challenging. And uh, for some, it may be considered a lot more challenging, but uh, I think you'll like uh, both versions. So we'll call today's version the easy version. So here's what we're doing. In the left hand for the three chord, a minor seven, we're playing these two notes, the A and the G. Okay, so that's the one on the flat seven. And then for the D, I'm going to actually play a D dominant seventh instead of a D minor seven. A lot of times, you know, when we're doing jazz, we use the dominant seventh chord on the six as opposed to the minor seven because it sounds hipper. All right, so for the D dominant seventh, I'm playing D and F sharp. It's representative of the one and the three for a shell chord voicing. And then we're going to our usual G minor seven that we've played before, to the C seven representation that we've played before. And then we're going to the one chord, which is an F major seventh chord, and to the sixth. Okay, right hand, all we're doing is we're kinda outlining the chord. So this is my three chord, okay? And then what I'm doing is I'm adding this to it. So when I come down, I'm doing this. Right? And I'm leading into this note from a half step below. And it happens on the end of beat four. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so those are our four notes there. And for fingering, um, you know, you can figure out what works for you. I find with myself, I actually change the fingering lots of times, you know, almost every single time I play it. So, um, you know, it kind of varies. So anyway, what I'm doing is I'm starting again here, leading into that, coming down. And then for the D7 chord, I'm actually coming up. So I'm starting on the F sharp here on the software. Unfortunately, it says G flat, but technically speaking, it's F sharp. <laughs> so then to the A, C, and then up here. Okay, so those two together. Right, and after that, I'm coming down, you know, where I'm playing the G minor. And then after that, I'm coming back up. Okay, so. After that, I'm right there. Okay, so this last part here, what I'm actually doing is I'm starting on the fifth there for the F major seventh chord, and I'm leading to the third there first, and then I'm going to the root. So it's like two, three, four, and okay. And at the same time we do that, we play the F major six. So anyway, let me go ahead and put uh, both hands together. So I'll do it really slowly. One, two, three. Okay, let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four. All right, 
and let me go ahead and play it a little bit faster. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Do it again. Four. Okay, so there's your run for day seven. Again, uh, it's important to play the run in all 12 keys. So if you look on your screen right there, you'll see a box that you can click on. And that way you can download the PDF file that has uh, everything notated in all 12 keys. So anyway, uh, I think we'll have fun with day eight. It's going to be a run that's going to use the same notes, but we're going to add a couple little rhythms in there to make it a little bit more challenging. So have fun and keep practicing.